you have some unfinished business with or that uh, you just enjoy playing for whatever reason, uh, rivalry, friends that are there? Uh, definitely Ben Salem. Well, last year, I think it really left a sour taste in our mouth. COVID isn't an excuse for us because every team went through it. The way our program is, we really, all the, the 20 wins we have now, I think we won those games back in April, May, June, July, August, all the stuff we do. You know, when the season starts, our season's really been started. Like I see, you know, some of you guys I see more than my own family. Three, two, one. Sorry, sorry. Are we spotted? Yes, spot. Everyone spot. If you could describe this team in one word, what would it be? Family. Family. Because we're all like really close. Keys to the game, right? Keys to the game. Number one job, as always, is to get better. We want to be a better young man today than we were yesterday. A better young man than you were yesterday. How would you be able to say about the three hours? The school has a counter rock the past two years, three years, went to counter rock, and it's just a totally different feel, totally different program. So to be able to be a part of this, it's been a great, great journey. The thing I remember most from the season is how the locker room felt after we first lost to Pensbury. After we blew a big lead, and I think it's important that I remember that because we all felt that feeling of loss and failure, and we didn't want to feel it again. Extremely tough when Allen went out because we're pretty guard heavy, and we also had Jake Delange out during that time. So that was, you know, two of our big guys. It was tough, you know, watching my team just lose games. You know, and if I was there, we would have won. I believe everything happens for a reason, and yeah, so that's how you gotta live life. What was in your mindset when you knew you had to step up for your team to make this big run that you guys are making? Uh, you know, obviously stepping up for my team and becoming a starter is a little bit nerve-wracking, but something that Morris always tells me is stay ready so you don't need to get ready. Why do you like playing basketball for Ben Salem High School? I like playing basketball for this school because I think we have, everyone is really close. Like, we share a bond that not a lot of teams have, and I think that's why we're so good. Just the bond that we have, family bond. Uh, we just preach family. How did it feel to score a thousand points? Hitting my thousand points, it was a, it was honestly one of the best feelings in the world. It was like the weight, the world's weight was on my shoulders when I didn't have it, and all that weight just removed itself. You know, not many people from this school have done that. Not many people in high school careers have done that. I'm very thankful for it. I'm humble for it. Once I seen the ball go in versus Holy Ghost, it was just like, it was just a big sign of relief for me. Coach Mike, you've been here for all four years of Aaron Sanders' career. How did it feel when you watched him hit his thousand points against Holy Ghost? Uh, relieved because if there was anyone that deserved it, it was him. I know there was an ongoing joke as a freshman. Every basket he scored, we would say 900 and not, it was 90 points to 1,000 because we knew it was a realistic goal. And I was relieved he got it. Jack, how did it feel to win the SOL? Uh, win the SOL? Uh, this is the second time that I won the SOL. I was on the team freshman year when they won. But this year was so much different because I really felt that, you know, we all played as a team and it was really a team effort. And it's just the greatest feeling ever. To be able to do it two times in the past four years that I've been here, it's just been like great, you know, because it's like I've been a part of two championship teams. It feels good to just be on the winner's side of it, especially after last year. 
last year we had a really down year, you know, and a lot of people counted us out this year again because we lost our leading scorer, James Ashford, last year. I just knew that we were going to be back in that winner's column this year, and I wasn't leaving in seventh high school without getting another championship under my belt. I mean, it's, I don't think cutting down the nets ever gets old. And cutting it down at a rival school, I don't think you can beat that. Uh, I think I, as great as, as it was two years ago to cut them down here, I think cutting them down at a rivalry, at a, at a rival school was amazing.